Hey everyone, my name is Nick White and I'm the owner of Off Leash Canine Training. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video for all of you to cover what I consider the four most important things that it takes to create a highly confident dog. Those things are socialization, noise desensitization, object desensitization, and obedience. This is something that I could literally speak hours about, however for the sake of this video we're going to get through these main key elements in just a few minutes. The first topic I will be discussing is socialization. Socialization is probably the most important element in the confidence building process. This should take place ideally at 8 to 12 weeks old. Socialization is essentially getting your dog around as many dogs, animals, and people as humanly possible. Everyone knows to socialize their dog, but not everyone does it with a wide variety like they should. For example, we get dogs at our training facility who are fine with small dogs, but they're not good with big dogs. Or we get dogs who are fine with this race of people, but they react aggressively at this race of people. The reason things like that happen is because the dog wasn't well socialized enough with a wide variety of people and a wide variety of dogs. So you have to make a very conscious effort to try to ensure you're socializing your dog and a wide variety of people, for example. So try to take them places outside of maybe where you live or where your friends are and try to really get them well socialized with different races of people, people who are dressed differently, people who look differently. And you should also be doing the same thing with dogs. Maybe your condo only allows small dogs, so naturally it's only small dogs in your dog's living area. So if that's the case, you need to try to take your dog out to other places, maybe pet stores, maybe friends' houses, to try to also socialize your dog with big dogs. If you don't do this, it wouldn't be that big of a surprise if your dog does develop an aggression towards something that they're not used to, such as a large dog, small dog, or another race of people. So ensure that you're really diversifying the types of dogs and the types of people that you're socializing your dog with and around. Also, it should go without saying, but try to make sure all these interactions are positive, that they're well-balanced, positive, happy dogs you're interacting your dog with. Same with people. All these interactions should try to be positive. If they have a negative reaction with a certain type of person or a certain type of dog, then they could have that grudge kind of ongoing in the back of their head for the rest of their lives. So try to ensure when you're socializing your dog that you're doing it with a lot of people, a lot of dogs, a lot of animals, and try to ensure they're all positive experiences. Lastly, stay away from dog parks. I'm actually a big advocate against taking the dogs to dog parks. Dog parks, it's like a pack mentality kicks in, then it kind of changes the dynamics. So I'm not a big advocate of taking your dog to dog parks to get that people and dog socialization. The next topic I will be discussing is noise desensitization. Noise desensitization is essentially getting your dog exposed to and confident around a wide variety of noises. When you do this, you never have issues with your dog being afraid of lightning, being afraid of fireworks, being afraid of gunshots. These are all things that you can start doing as a puppy and they very, very quickly become very confident and learn to just simply ignore these things. The problem is a lot of people, instead of getting their dog used to it, they let their dog avoid it. Maybe your dog hears a loud noise and he runs and hides. I never let that be the case with any of dogs we're training. If I find something they're afraid of, I work them through it. That way they become desensitized to it, which in turn makes your dog more confident. So some of the things you can do is if your dog is afraid of a vacuum, put him on a leash in the house so he can't run and hide and vacuum the house and do this every day. And when he gives you a calm, confident behavior, reward that, whether it's tree based or whether it's physical praise or verbal praise, but the solution is never letting the dog avoid it or run from it. Because um, eventually you're going to run into a real world scenario where you can't uh, just simply tuck the dog away. They're going to get out in your backyard maybe, hear that firework on 4th of July, jump the fence, take off running, and maybe you'll never see them again. So the key is, is to build their confidence and work them through it versus letting them avoid it or letting them hide from it. 
We have a lot of videos where you can see this done on our YouTube channel as well. And a lot of it's just slowly building your dog up to that noise. Maybe have your dog on a place or a sit and shoot a gun 75 yards away. Get him used to that, then 50, then 30, then 25, then 10, then five. And over a very, very quick period of time, you can literally be shooting a gun or a firework or something like this a foot from your dog and they literally will completely ignore it. So the key is, is to build up your dog's confidence around noises. And that's a very important part of the confidence building process in your dog. Next, we'll be discussing object desensitization. Object desensitization is pretty simple. It's just the act of getting your dog used to different terrain, terrain changes, different feels on their feet, um, different textures, different surfaces. So with object desensitization, what you can see a lot in our videos is the place command. The place command is essentially object desensitization. As you will see in some of our videos, we take dogs who initially are afraid to walk on to a wooden platform that's six inches tall. You'll literally see them planting their feet, fighting it, and then you'll see their after video where they're jumping up placing on fire hydrants, where they're jumping and sitting on fire hydrants and five foot tall platforms and three inch wide walls. So all of this is because instead of letting the dog avoid what they're afraid of, we instead work them through it and build their confidence up so we took a dog who was scared and skittish of getting on this new thing to now they're just doing mind-blowing things and this is all happening in three or four days or even less, sometimes an hour. So again, when it comes to different objects, try to expose your dog to as many objects, as many heights, as many textures, as many surfaces as humanly possible. We get dogs who are afraid of tile floors, who are afraid to go up and down stairs, dogs who are afraid to jump in the back of the vehicle. All of these things are based off lack of object desensitization. So again, try to, as a puppy, you can do this at eight weeks old, start putting your dog on a wide variety of surfaces, textures, elevations, and make it a very positive experience for him. Praise him, um, food reward him, whatever motivates your dog. And if you do this on an ongoing basis, your dog will be highly confident. He'll go anywhere, he'll walk anywhere, he'll go through anything. It's how we get our police and military dogs jumping through car windows, jumping through tires, over walls. All of this is due to object desensitization as puppies, and we're just exposing them to a wide variety of things. And instead of letting them be afraid of it, we work them through it, which in turn builds their confidence. Lastly, we will be discussing one of my favorite topics, obedience training. That's right, obedience training to me is very important in the confidence building process. As I always say, if you look at the most amazing dogs in the world, such as French Ring or Schutzen or Mondio or police dogs or military dogs, they all have one thing in common, amazing confidence and amazing obedience. The reason that is, is it's so much easier to build a dog's confidence when they are really great in obedience. For example, if you're trying to do noise desensitization with a dog who doesn't listen whatsoever, it's hard to get them to hold a position or to recall if they hear loud noise. Or if you have a highly obedient dog and maybe they jump up from a place when you fired off the gun, now you can quickly, using verbal command, put them back, reset it, repeat it, and do it again to quickly get them over it. So obedience allows you to do a lot of things that's really, really important to create a confident dog. Things such as door manners, things such as take your dog new places to expose it to different noises, objects, and people. No one wants to take a dog to a wide variety of places that's dragging them down the street and doesn't listen. So obedience, just kind of by doing it as a byproduct, you're creating a more confident dog because it's getting them mentally stimulated, physically stimulated. You're taking them to more places because they're a pleasure to be around. So obedience is a really important part of the confidence building process. What I say all the time is if you show me a highly obedient, well socialized, really desensitized dog, it's almost very, very slim that you'll ever have any major issues with a dog if you've stuck to those main key elements of confidence building. Again, guys, I could talk, to, talk about confidence building for hours on end and I only have a few minutes. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you start applying these four key elements in your dog's life. It's never ever too late. Ideally start as a puppy, but again, you can have a 10 year old dog and start doing these things now with success. Enjoy.